As on-chain data signals a decline in high-value transactions, Bitcoin's bull run faces uncertainty, struggling to break out of consolidation. Bitcoin hovers around $64,000, with signs pointing to a potential downturn, and some experts anticipate a significant crash, possibly revisiting previous lows in the mid-$30,000 range. Yet, historical patterns suggest that such corrections could pave the way for future rallies. Stay tuned as the crypto market navigates this pivotal moment. Moment. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's start. So here we are starting off with, next week could be the week we've all been waiting for. Bitcoin monthly close is on Wednesday and it looks like it could be the first red monthly close since August 2023. All goes with picks, pickups on that close. On top of that, let's not forget the famous phrase, sell in May and go away. Patience, stay in cash. Bitcoin is now the hardest money on earth as gold is 1.45%, Bitcoin is 0.84%, new yearly total X100. The simple moving average makes it clear what's happening here, so just hold all chill and enjoy the ride. The bull market might continue. Entertate makes the case for Bitcoin. The dollar uh, is fucked, the real estate and most other investments, they will take off you once you don't comply with their tyranny. And the tyranny will become worse than ever. Live in Bitcoin, there's no other option. So. 11 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin shorts about to be slaughtered at $73,000. I mean, not at $73,000 exactly, but on the move to that point as around 10 billion dollars are located in short positions towards that position. But it's not just all 10 billion dollars right there. It's not right there. Uh, there are like 3-4 billion maximum and on the way to the $73,000, there's way much more liquidity located. So, Bitcoin and whale activity declining, why a turnaround is important. Uh, important. According to the latest on-chain revelation, the Bitcoin network has been experiencing a steady decline in high-value transactions over the last few weeks. This sluggish activity has been mirrored by the, the, by the price of the premier cryptocurrency, which has struggled to break out of consolidation throughout the months of April. In the past week, the Bitcoin price struggled to hold above the 67,000 despite touching the level multiple times. The price of Bitcoin has since been in tumble and is down by more than 2% in the last seven days, and according to data from CoinKiko. Interestingly, the recent on-chain data suggests that this underwhelming price performance might persist to the, for the market leader unless there is a turnaround, especially in terms of network activity. So can whale activity push Bitcoin price towards the $73,000? Prominent crypto analyst Ali Martinez took to X platform to reveal that a Bitcoin whale activity has been declining steadily in the past six weeks. This revelation is based on sentiments, whale transaction count metric, which tracks the number of Bitcoin transactions worth more than $100,000 and $1 million. Whales refer to entities or individuals that own substantial amount of a particular cryptocurrency. As such, they hold significant influence over market dynamics due to their capacity to execute large transactions which can trigger speculation and potential price shift. Martinez highlighted in his post that there has been a noticeable decline in Bitcoin whale activity since March 14th, as the same day the premier cryptocurrency hit a new all-time high price of $73,000, this deep ascent in activity has coincided with the recent underperformance of Bitcoin's price. However, the crypto analyst mentioned that an increase in high-value transactions could breathe life into the price of Bitcoin, as this is based on the reasoning that a search in network activity could imply high demand for Bitcoin leading to elevated prices. As shown in the chart below, the peak of the whale transaction count correlates with the new record high price of the Bitcoin. Active Bitcoin wallets on the rise sentiment. An interesting piece of uh, on-chain data that may suggest increasing demand for Bitcoin and a bullish future for its price has come to light. According to sentiment, the number of the active Bitcoin wallets is increasing rapidly despite a choppy state of the market. Active Bitcoin wallets refer to the total number of unique addresses holding Bitcoin. Sentiment data shows that numbers of these non-empty Bitcoin wallets has climbed by more than 2.5% in the last three months. Months. As of Friday, Bitcoin trades at just above the $64,000, reflecting a 1.6% price increase in the past day. 
So has Bitcoin topped out? Peter Brand signals a potential end of bull run. In a sobering analysis for cryptocurrency enthusiast veteran trader Peter Brandt, ca cast doubt on the continuation of the current Bitcoin bull run, suggesting that a possible peak has already been reached with serious retracements potentially on the horizon. This assessment, deeply rooted in historical price cycle data, presents a grim outlook for the near future of Bitcoin's market value, historical patterns and exponential decay. So, Brent detailed analysis examines the diminishing momentum seen across the Bitcoin's previous bull cycles. According to Brent, each cycle since Bitcoin's inception has experienced a sharp decrease in exponential growth, culminating in what he describes as an uh, exponential decay. So, these have been four major bull cycles in Bitcoin with the current advance in the fifth major bull cycle. December 21st, 2009 to, to June 6, 2011, 3,191 X advance. November 14th, 2011 to November 25th, 2013, 572 X advance. August 17th, 2015 to December 18th, 2017, 122 X in advance. And December 10th to 2018 to November 8th, 2021, 22 acts advance. And November 21st, 2022 to an unknown date, which is high so far, is 73,835 registered on March 14th, 2024. The essence of Brent's analysis focuses on the exponential decay observed in the growth rates from one cycle to the next, where each cycle's magnitude is roughly 20% of its predecessors, as this suggests an 80% reduction in growth momentum, indicating a cooling off of the aggressive bullish trends previously seen in Bitcoin's market behavior. Now, here's where exponential decay is showing its ugly hat. The magnitude of the 2011-2013 was approximately 20% of the 2009-2011. The magnitude of previous one of 15 to 17 was approximately 20% of the 11 and 13, and the same happened from 18 to 21, which is 20% of the 15s and 17s. And worded another way, 80% of the exponential energy of each successful bull market cycle has been lost. So, Brent's data implies that Bitcoin might have already reached its peak for the current cycle and could see a significant downturn, potentially revisiting the mid $30,000 range seen in the previous lows. However, he also remains optimistic that such a pullback could set up a future rally akin to historical patterns observed in the gold market, where after significant corrections, long-term gains followed. Despite his significant investment in Bitcoin, Brent candidly reflects on the necessity of confronting the data head-on, and he states that the fact is that the bull market cycles in Bitcoin have lost a tremendous amount of thrust over the years, highlighting the need for data-driven decisions making. However, the current evidence suggests a 25% likelihood that Bitcoin has reached its peak for this cycle, indicating that investors might need to brace for possible declines or adjust their strategies accordingly. Insights from experts like Brent are invaluable for investors in the highly volatile cryptocurrency market. They emphasize the critical role of data-driven decisions making in navigating an ever-ever evolving financial landscape. So look at the price right now. We are in a really great position of recovering at around 63,500, uh, trying to get up to back to 64,000 and hopefully we will go through that. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you in the next one and peace.